checked in for the Warriors. Smith checked in for Cleveland. And Fry slams it in. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. One oh two left in the third quarter. The Cavaliers leading. The drive by Smith and stolen by Spates. Here is Livingston. Here's Igudala. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mozgov's got his third rebound on the night. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Good. Ian Clark. 35 seconds left in the third. They, they have a two-for-one situation if they go quick. Yeah, I don't think they have to rush, though, Greg. Just need to find a good shot this time. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Spates kicks to Iguodala. Puts up a three. Another miss by Iguodala. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. And Fry slams it in. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yes, indeed. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Cavaliers on top. They lead by eight. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Well, welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Timeout called Cleveland. They've been very untidy with the ball here. You commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force it. They need to focus on making the simple play, good passes, and moving the ball around. Well, I tell you, the Warriors roster fit together hand in glove. They were led by the Splash Brothers, but the front court and the bench really complemented the rest of the team perfectly because all of the players for the Warriors were extremely versatile and highly skilled. Update for us, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. His message was this. All of us know these guys are capable of exploding and putting up points in a hurry. So I don't want to see anybody letting up until that final whistle blows. Guys, back to you. If you're talking about the Warriors, you know, they were built to play with each other last year. The bigs could all pass very well, and that set up the three-point threats. It, uh, and then even on the defensive side, I mean, they had players that really complemented each other. I mean, some undersized power forwards, people who countered with rim protectors. I mean, they also had the length at every perimeter position to switch on any play. So they are equally as adept on that side of the ball. The defensive stalwarts, Green and Bogut, are down low. On the wing, Thompson and Igudala. And it's Rush in at the one. That's the Warriors' five. A nice shot by Irving. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Igudala. Another miss by Igudala. Well, he's building a house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defended well. Move the ball. Share the sugar. That's his first personal foul. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. And Keynes throws it down. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. 
and a wide open look for Igudawa. Good on the triple. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. The Cavaliers leading by 11, and Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Here's James. Second shot opportunity. And it's Smith laying it in. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Timeout called the Warriors. And it's strange to think that early last year, all the talk in the media was about the in-house fighting on the Cavs. It goes to show just how much better things are for a team when they're winning. Rush gets the bucket. They just continue to splash home those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. Absolutely. You cannot allow a team to have that kind of a rhythm from beyond. And good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime dropping delights is what I call it. I, yeah, that's a nice pass. I will give you that. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. You gotta get your body between that other player and the ball. And how many extra possessions have they gotten because of that rebounding edge? Well, it's been a bunch, and I think it's made the difference in the game. I mean, they've actually done a great job on the board. Warriors trail by 11. To the paint. Thompson with the bucket. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. For three, Smith. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. You know, one aspect of their play today that's really been tight and, and far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow can be elusive, but the great offenses have it, and that's just what they've shown here tonight. They get it again. Bogut. And, uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. Free throw no good for Bogut. And, you know, looking at Andrew Bogut, he's been one of the game's best centers. I mean, obviously, injuries yes, have saddled him a little bit over the years, but he's made it through 67 games each of the past two seasons. Golden State's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Rush from outside. The Cavaliers pull it in. LeBron's got six rebounds in the game. Smith, no luck. Well, going back to Bogut, when he's healthy, he's a very difficult matchup for any opponent. Great, one of the great rebounders and defenders, certainly in this game now. He also, though, gives you points from the blocks and with timely putbacks. Yeah, you know, he's become an unsung hero in a sense. Not the flashy guy who entered the league, but more of a very talented lunch pail kind of guy who simply wants to do his part. From deep three-point range, Igudala, no good. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And that's an important rebound, especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. But they're still in this one, fellas. Can they pump it up a notch here in the clutch? And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. It's stolen by Bogut. And even three-on-three -three break. Thompson from long range. Again, the miss by Thompson. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. The second chance effort, and it's sent back by Bogut, and they're able to recover. What a performance. Just look at the game for Smith. 15 points, and he's done his job at the charity strike. He's gotten four of his points from there. And that's a good place to get them. They don't come easier than that, but you've got to get yourself there first. Warriors trail by nine. There's 126 left to play here in the fourth. Bogut, that's good. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook, really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, 
it hasn't affected them too much. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Feeds it to Thompson. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And it goes on Draymond Green. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Cavaliers? And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's, uh, that's a mark of a good club. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his third foul so far. One is situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. They better hope that their performance on the line in the second half doesn't come back to bite them. I mean, they left a lot of opportunities at the line by missing those free throws. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here, aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Shoots the three. No good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Here's LeBron, and that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. <laughs> There's 48 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Irving's shot is good. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Iguodala, the pass to Thompson. Thompson is double. Shoots it. And it takes a hard bounce. Ill-advised shot there, Clark. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. Iguodala with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Good D by James. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. And the fans already heading for the exits. Clearly not pleased with the way things turned out today. Well, Greg, this was a well-deserved win. I mean, they came into this building and acted like it was their home turf. I mean, they were the ones calling the shots and controlling everything. That's a heads-up play there on offense. The pump fake cleared the way for the nice layup. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, you are in the midst of yet another great season, posting tremendous individual numbers and the team with an outstanding record. Is this the type of season that you set out to achieve right from the get-go? Uh, I just wanted to play well. Uh, you know, this whole season, you know, I got back to what I know I'm capable of doing, and that's having fun with this game, and, uh, you know, just, just believing in myself and my teammates. So uh, I, I'm happy to be in a good place. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. He put up a new season high tonight, and if he keeps shooting like he did tonight before the season's over, he might top it. A big key to his team's victory here. We all know, anytime you got LeBron James on the floor, he's going to bring that will to win. He has so many tools in his arsenal he can throw at you, not to mention his defense. Literally, any night he can take over a game. Tonight we saw King James exert his will in the game. A ton of his points were coming inside tonight. It really speaks to how aggressive he was in this game. If there was a path to the hoop, he was attacking. Love that kind of mindset in a backcourt or a wing play. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.